subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Leatherback Sea Turtle. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time for a game of table tennis, Hero. Okay, Hero, I will serve the ball first. Here I go. Oh, almost, Hero. What is it, Hero? More balls? How did they get here? Oh my, what's happening? It's a baby turtle. So these aren't balls, they're eggs. Do you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now smile, little one. Hi, Katie. What information did you find about the baby sea turtle? Hi, Leo. There are seven types of sea turtles. This one is a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle is named for its shell. It doesn't have a hard bony shell like other sea turtles have. Instead, its shell is covered with skin which feels like rubber or like leather. The leatherback sea turtle can also dive deeper than any other sea turtle. Leatherbacks eat small sea creatures, but what they mostly eat is their favorite food, jellyfish. Unfortunately, they sometimes find plastic bags in the sea and mistake them for jellyfish, so they eat the plastic bags. This is one of the reasons why the leatherback sea turtle is in danger. Oh no! People should not throw their garbage in the seas. Absolutely, Leo. Especially because the leatherback can be found in almost every sea worldwide. Male leatherbacks never leave the water, but female leatherbacks will leave the water to lay her eggs at the beach. I see. We should bring the baby sea turtle and the eggs back to their nest at the beach. Great idea, Leo. That's their best chance for survival. Turtle is trying to make it for the sea. Oh no, raccoons! No, you can't have these eggs. It's too dangerous here, little one. Let's run. What can we do, Leo? I sense trouble, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky, raccoons are trying to get the baby sea turtle and the sea turtle eggs. Raccoons dislike bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Good luck. I have an idea. Let's try to make some noise with those smelly dustbin lids. Hopefully, that will scare the raccoons away. Great idea, Katie. And there is Hero to help. They're finally gone. The eggs and the baby turtle are safe again. Shoo, crabs! <laughs> Good luck, little friend. Look, the eggs are hatching. Goodbye, everybody. We did it. We found the sea turtle's nest. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> found a baby sea turtle and eggs in our garden. We learned that they are leatherback sea turtles. They have soft shells 
and prefer sandy beaches to lay their eggs. So we brought the eggs back to the sea turtle's nest, and the baby sea turtles found their way to the sea. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Oriental Pied Hornbill. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm picking apples for mom so she can make an apple pie. Do you want to help me look for some ripe apples? <coughs> oh, here's a nice ripe apple. Ah, oh, this one's good too. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Is there something in that tree? Oh, it's just a lizard. <gasps> that big bird is trying to catch the lizard. That bird has such a big beak. I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, birdie. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is an oriental pied hornbill. There are many types of hornbills in the world. They can look very different from one another, but all of them have long beaks that curve downwards. Wow, look at all those big beaks. The hornbill in our garden tried to catch a lizard with its beak. Besides lizards, Oriental pied hornbills eat animals like frogs, small birds, and large insects. They also feed on wild fruits. By the way, Oriental pied hornbills live in the rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. Hmm, we should take the Oriental pied hornbill back to the rainforest, or it might eat all the fruit in our garden. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Why have all these trees been cut down? These trees might have been cut down for wood. Wood is used to make furniture, paper, and many other things. Or maybe these trees have been cleared so houses can be built on the land. Sadly, many animals, including the Oriental Pied Hornbill, lose their homes when forests are destroyed. That's sad. We'd better drive deeper into the forest. Hopefully, the trees aren't cut there. What's that sound? Leo, stop. Look, there are people cutting down trees. <laughs> oh no, that tree's gonna fall on us. Phew, that was close. Did you hear that, Leo? I hear it too. Hornbill, where are you going? Sit tight. We're going after it. Maybe it's trying to find its way home. I can't see it anymore. There it is. There you are, Mr. Hornbill. Don't worry. We'll help you find your home. Look, Leo. The Hornbill is collecting some figs for its mate and chicks. I can hear the baby hornbills. We did it. We found the oriental pied hornbills nest. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! We 
found an oriental pied hornbill in our garden. We learned that oriental pied hornbills seal their nests with mud and that the male hornbill brings food to its mate and the chicks. So we went to the rainforest and helped the hornbill find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The honeybee. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I'm a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. It's a perfect day for a picnic. We have chocolate cookies, cakes, apples, and bananas. And look, I even have your favorite doggy snacks. Not so fast, Hero. We have to wait for Katie. Let me call her. A bee? Hey, don't go near the cakes. Hero, careful. You're knocking over all the food. I wonder where it came from. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, did you find anything? Hi Leo. This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees, but this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces like hollow trees. Hmm. If we want to have a peaceful picnic, we should bring this honeybee back to its beehive. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. Field. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work! But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. That was close. Oh no, where's the honeybee? The jar is gone. It's the honeybee. She's hiding in a honeysuckle flower. Come in, honeybee. We'll make sure we stay far away from those wasps. 
Goodbye, bee. We did it. We found the beehive of the honeybee. Yay! Yay! We found a honeybee in our garden. We learned that honeybees have workers, a queen, and drones, and that they make honey. So we went to a forest and found a tree with a hollow that contains a hive. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The white-bellied woodpecker. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, is that a bone you have? <laughs> Do you know what Hero is doing? That's right. He dug a hole to bury his bone to save it for later. What's that sound? Hero, I don't think it comes from your bone. Do you hear it too? Let's go find out. It's a bird, and it's making holes in the tree. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the bird. Here we go. It's a woodpecker, and this one is a white-bellied woodpecker. The white-bellied woodpecker is one of the biggest woodpecker out there. A white-bellied woodpecker? So why does it keep tapping against the tree? The woodpecker makes holes in trees to get food. It eats the insects in the tree trunks. I see. But does that not damage the trees? Some woodpeckers eat sap from the trees, which can damage those trees. But not the white-bellied woodpecker. It eats insects that might be harmful to the trees, so it keeps the trees healthy. I see. What a helpful bird. Where does it come from? White-bellied woodpeckers can be found in the tropical forests of Asia and Southeast Asia. By the way, the woodpecker you found is female. The male has a red mustache on the side of his cheeks, but females don't. Well, let's take her back to the forest where there are more trees for her to get food from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. I'm hungry. It's a good thing we always pack some sandwiches. Catch, Hero! Better be careful, Leo. You might attract wild animals with your food. Wait, do you hear that? Leo, look! It's wasps! Oh no! My food must have attracted them! They're coming closer! Throw my sandwich away. Perhaps they'll go after it. Now let's run! Oh no! Some of the wasps are still following us! Wah! <laughs> the woodpecker is eating the wasps. We should give her the space she needs. Let's take out our propellers. <laughs> Do you think it's safe to go down now? I think it is, Katie. Let's have a look. There you are, woodpecker. 
Do you think you had enough to eat? I think I had enough to eat too. We did it! We found the family of our white-bellied woodpecker. Hooray! We found a white-bellied woodpecker in our garden. We learned that a white-bellied woodpecker pecks holes in trees to eat the insects in it. The woodpecker belongs to a place with many trees, so we returned her to her real home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs> <laughs>